In over 40 years as a priest and seven years as a university chaplain, I have had the opportunity to work closely with young people. I have seen your capacity for care and compassion. I know the kind of energy and commitment that you have to engage with projects that you really believe in. And most of all, I think you place a strong emphasis on fairness. In the present debate about the Eighth Amendment, when people talk about the right to choose, that means that one person chooses when another person will live or die. A vulnerable baby who has no choice in the matter. That hardly seems fair. That's why it seems strange to me when people make assumptions about the way young people will vote in this referendum. If we really want to support women, then we have to create a culture in which every woman can imagine a future which is life-affirming for her and for her baby. In Britain, as you probably know, one in five pregnancies ends in abortion. Here in Ireland, you may be one of the many citizens who are alive today because our law is different. Without the Eighth Amendment, many of you simply would not be here today. All the giftedness and the hope that is so much a part of who you are simply would not exist. The Eighth Amendment is all about fairness and equality. And we are being asked to take it away. The government has already indicated to us the proposals that it has to put in place of the Eighth Amendment. This would be a far more radical legislation than what currently exists in Britain, including abortion on demand up to 12 weeks and even up to birth in certain circumstances. You have this one opportunity to make sure that babies conceived in the years ahead will have the same opportunities that you had. That begins with the opportunity to be born. What could be fairer than that? More and more doctors are telling us that Ireland is one of the safest places in the world to be pregnant. The maternal mortality rate in Ireland is significantly lower than in the United States where abortion has been available since 1973. Irish law already provides for women in Ireland to have whatever treatment they may need during pregnancy, even if that results in the unintended death of their child. We're at a crossroads. Ireland can continue to be a world leader in care for women and their babies during pregnancy. Don't allow the opinions of others to put you under pressure. Don't allow yourselves to be taken for granted. This is your decision and only you can make it. I have great confidence in the sense of fairness of young people and I encourage you strongly to vote no because you believe that every person has, at the very least, the right to be born.